there welcome to my channel my name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review last week I borrowed my nib guru Jack Hernandez's Mont Blanc 149 fountain pen to compare with the new Jinhao X159 now that's hardly a fair comparison if part of the comparison is the nib but I was really only looking to see how similar the bodies were and how the pens felt in the hand if they were close the Jinhao X159 is a good inexpensive option to determine if a Mont Blanc 149 might be in your future however I couldn't pass up the opportunity to write with and review Jack's Mont Blanc 149 especially since this is no ordinary Mont Blanc 149 if any 149 could be ordinary but this one is not only the very special calligraphy model of the 149 it's also even more special and rare nib from Fritz Schimpf called the expressive let's see what makes this particular Mont Blanc so special right now and what I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen show some size comparisons some measurements and then provide a writing sample after the writing sample please stay tuned as I will talk about what I like and what I don't like so much about this fountain pen this is the fountain pen of fountain pens isn't it I mean the big cigar shaped fountain pen with the snow cap peak on the top that just says I'm somebody of means there you go there you go there you go if it sits proudly in your jacket or lays across your desk it just oozes class and privilege you don't even have to write with it the brand speaks for itself it is as eye-catching as a Gucci bag a Rolex watch or rolling up in a rolls but for those of us who really do write with our fountain pens does the Mont Blanc 149 measure up in this case the consensus is it does indeed and very well at that other models of Mont Blanc pens might just be collectors items and desk candy for collectors but the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149 is a fountain pen for writers I've been tempted to look into owning one myself as it is said any fountain pen enthusiast worth his salt has to own at least one I think that kind of talk is mostly Mont Blanc brand hype similar to the three month salary rule of thumb for engagement diamond that was made up by the De Beers diamond company in the 1920s if that were true my wife wouldn't be able to lift herself off the couch for the hundred rings on her finger but I never pulled the trigger mainly because the price tag for the standard 149 with a medium nib at my local brick and mortar shop is $1,220 Canadian that's around $950 US I'd have to sell all my Leonardo's to get one black pen with a snowflake on top so what's the next best thing well the next best thing is to borrow one from a friend that has more than he needs but wait this isn't your ordinary 149 with a standard nib no 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 this isn't even the special calligraphy nib sold by Mont Blanc this is a very special calligraphy model that Jack obtained from Fritz Schimpf a fountain pen retailer in Turbingen Germany called the expressive it has a custom designed italic flex nib designed in collaboration with Mont Blanc to celebrate Fritz Schimpf's 140 year anniversary in business in 2020 it is not only a crisp italic cut nib it is very flexible as well giving your writing a wide range of options as we shall see but first the overview of the parts and features of this pen from the top we see the world famous Mont Blanc white plastic inlaid snow cap on the top finial the top finial is separated from the cap by a gold plated clip ring attaching the gold plated clip which is elegantly shaped and very nice and springy and usable the clip ring is engraved with a serial number you can just make it out there and made in Germany is stamped on the underside of that clip along with the word metal and the cap tapers up to three gold bands two thin and one thick in the center the center band is engraved with Mont Blanc Meisterstück number 149 and the block letters are finely engraved with that typical Mont Blanc 
crosshatch in the inside of the block letters. And Meisterstück means masterpiece in German, and you have to have those umlauts over the U, otherwise it says Meisterstück, which means your master is stuck. Wait. The end of the cap is nicely rounded with a small step down to the barrel which is straight to about here where it tapers down to the piston knob which is separated from the barrel by another gold ring and you should be able to just see that ink window that is the series of slits in the barrel that shows you the ink level of the piston which is around 1.5 milliliters which is a good size. The cap unscrews with one and about three quarter turns to reveal the thick barrel shaped section and large number nine size 18 karat gold Mont Blanc calligraphy nib. This is the main feature of this pen and this nib is truly spectacular. Let's get a closer look. This one's even more spectacular than the normal Mont Blanc 149 gold nib as it is not only the calligraphy nib with its featured calligraphy loops engraved very deeply into the nib it's also a special version of the special nib called the expressive and it's engraved right there with the expressive and this nib was developed specially did i mention it's special well isn't that special <laughs> developed specially in collaboration with Mont Blanc by Fritz Schimpf and his name is laser etched right there on the shoulder of the nib as well. There is the typical Mont Blanc 4810 which represents the elevation of the mountain Mont Blanc uh, in meters and then it says Mont Blanc and then Hallmarks 18k and AU750 which stand for the gold content. The STOD there in the center is a Mont Blanc hallmark. And there is the plastic feed. The section is very comfortable and thick. If you prefer slim pens, this isn't the one for you. The inside of the cap shows a black plastic cap liner that seals the nib from evaporation. The cap posts deeply and securely. And this has to be one of the most carefully balanced fountain pens on the planet. It is large in the hand, of course. But posted, it does not feel unwieldy at all and is very comfortable to use for extended periods of writing. Unposted, the pen is well balanced as well and plenty long enough. I believe this pen was a limited edition from 2020 or 21. It was originally priced at 1,890 euros, which is currently around $1,930 US, and it is most definitely sold out. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Mont Blanc 149 calligraphy with a Pelican M800, also a piston filler, a Leonardo Momento Zero Grande, Jonathan Brooks, also a piston filler, a Platinum President, cartridge converter, and a Sailor 1911 Large, also a cartridge converter. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. You can see how much larger the number nine size Mont Blanc nib is than the other. These are all number six size nibs. And even though the Platinum President and the Sailor 1911 Large try to look like the Mont Blanc Meisterstück 149, they're actually closer to the 146 Mont Blanc in size than the 149. Now let's look at them unposted. And here they are unposted. These are all 18 karat gold nibs with the exception of the Sailor, which is a 21 karat gold nib. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Clairefontaine 90 GSM paper, and this is the Mont Blanc one four nine calligraphy. And it has an eighteen carat 
gold number nine size nib which is a cursive italic flex nib let's check the wetness well this is a paintbrush folks <laughs> it's very very wet and the nib is just as smooth as glass and very very flexible indeed this is a stub basically cursive italic and that gives you line variation when you have no pressure at all on the nib but then when you apply some pressure to it like that look at the line variation that you get out of it before I begin gushing too much about this let's talk about the ink and the ink today is Hiroshizuku Amairo now this pen came already inked Jack inked this pen up with Aurora turquoise and I ran through that turquoise pretty quickly and filled it up again with something that I had which was similar uh, to the Aurora turquoise it's a lovely turquoise color from Orochizuku and you can see some close matches to this ink from inkswatch.com and this nib makes a horizontal line which is very very thin at 0 0.2 millimeters and a vertical line which is 0 0.8 millimeters that means it goes from a western extra extra fine or a Japanese extra fine to a western broad or a Japanese double broad if there is such a thing and of course if you push it you get a line that can get up to 1.6 millimeters which is off the charts and for our quote and for some reverse writing well you don't want to reverse write with this anyway and it just doesn't do it so some quick writing you might actually be able to hear that on the page it is a crisp cursive italic so you are getting some edge on that when you don't hold the pen correctly uh, you do have to hold it on the page for it to work but it is so super wet that feed just keeps coming up and look at that amount of ink that I'm pulling out of this nib look at that that railroaded once on me that's a lot of ink folks so what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen well the best thing about this pen is that I didn't have to buy it seriously though two thousand dollars is what I'd pay for a guitar not a pen but having a friend that is certifiable that's Jack really helps because he loans amazing writing instruments like this to amateurs like me seriously thank you Jack for loaning me this extraordinary fountain pen and don't worry the sticker is still there see as to the pen itself well it's a black and gold cigar shaped thick plastic pen it's a piston filler takes a lot of ink but other than that it's just an ordinary pen the nib here is the game changer and that's why the pen is so expensive well one of the reasons even for a Mont Blanc this particular nib is extraordinary it feels like a feather on the page writes like a paintbrush and gives your writing incredible personality almost automatically it's too much for everyday writing and journaling however the lines are so expressive and your writing needs to be so large to keep all of your loops from filling in like the red sea on the egyptians after the vent into the temporarily dry sea ah, nice. 
that it becomes a specialty-only pen for signatures, fancy notes, and the like. Is it worth $2,000? Well, not to me it isn't. Because I don't have a need for a $2,000 pen that will be relegated to specialty writing. My writing isn't that special. But if you put a normal number 9 size 18 karat gold Mont Blanc nib on this pen, making it a standard 149 would I pay $975 for it? Well, perhaps. I might end up with one of these pens a 149 or possibly the slightly smaller size 146 but I expect it would be vintage or at least secondhand Mont Blanc as they are much more reasonable in price. A Mont Blanc 149 with a medium 18 karat gold nib in the $400 range would be much more tempting. It is a great pen. There is no question this is a very well made and designed fountain pen. It is Mont Blanc's flagship after all. But it's still just a pen, and a lot of the hype about Mont Blanc 149 is just that, hype. It might be worth it if you consider your pen's status symbols and want the Mont Blanc snowcap poking out from your shirt to elevate your self-esteem, win friends, and influence people. Where's it me? I'm trying to impress people here, Lisa. You don't win friends with salad. 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 I find it easier to influence people with a YouTube channel. It's certainly cheaper. On the other hand, there are collectors and fountain pen enthusiasts that purchase these pens because of their love of the expert craftsmanship and the legacy of a hundred years of Mont Blanc excellence in creating quality writing instruments. These are people who love these pens for how they write, not how it makes them look. I certainly put Jack in this category as all of his Mont Blanc pens in his collection are different, unique, and bring a specific story with them. They are cherished personal objects that are inked and used and tinkered with and loved. And that's to be admired and respected. Thanks again, Jack. You'll have this hostage back as soon as you release my Schaefer Tuckaway. Something to look forward to, a pen prisoner exchange. And there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And please look in the description for a link to Goldspot Pens, as I'm now an affiliate of the online store. And when you shop at Goldspot using my link, you'll be supporting my channel as well at no extra charge to you. You can also join as a member of my channel for only 99 cents a month, and I guarantee I'll answer your comments in the comments section, and you'll get cool emojis, badges, and sneak peek unboxing videos as well. And that just leaves it for me to say, thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.